the diamond sutra so before we get into the actual text in the sutra i'd like us to first understand a bit more about the background and context behind the sutra and so it's very important to understand a few things the first thing would be that this sutra was translated by kumarajiva who was a tripitaka master kumarajiva is one of the most famous and popular translators who translated the majority of the buddhist texts he translated it from pali sanskrit into chinese the reason why kumarajiva is a tripitaka master is because he mastered the three baskets in buddhism the three baskets are sutra vinyana and abhidhamma sutra means that he mastered the buddhist texts the buddhist sutras as spoken by the buddha himself Vijnana is the practice, the discipline, the conduct. So knowing how to speak, knowing how to stand, knowing the rules and regulations of the Buddhist practice. And then Abhidhamma is the psychology of Buddhism, the analysis, the deep underlying meaning and understanding behind all the texts. So the Diamond Sutra wasn't translated by your average translator. He was a translator at the level of Tripitaka Master meaning he was very, very well versed in Buddhism. Let's get into a bit more about the background. So the Diamond Sutra is the title of the Sutra, but the title of the Sutra in Sanskrit is Vajra Chedika Prajna Paramita Sutra. And this is very important because if we understand the Sanskrit term, we can actually understand the Sutra in a deeper meaning. Vajra is diamond. So that's where the Diamond Sutra comes from. It's also the Vajra Sutra, in short, so the Diamond Sutra. Vajra means diamond, Chedika means cutter, Prajna means wisdom and insight, and Paramita means perfection, or also crossing onto the other shore. So Vajra Chedika means the diamond the cutter, Prajna Paramita means the perfection of wisdom. It can also mean using wisdom to go to the other shore. So the full name of the sutra is actually Vajra Chedika Prajna Paramita, which means diamond cutter, perfection of wisdom. So the diamond cutter, what is it cutting? It's cutting the illusions and ignorance using Vajra, which is diamond. So the diamond is a symbol of the wisdom that we are using to cut this ignorance and illusion. So this sutra is one of the most popular sutras in Buddhism and has been memorized and chanted by many Buddhists and practitioners since the 5th century and they use this to meditate on illusion and perception the illusory nature of life as well as the perception being right view what is the right perception this sutra explores four key concepts including giving without attachment to self liberating sentient beings without notion of self and other living without attachment and cultivating without attainment and so the underlying theme around this sutra is the teaching of emptiness without attachment to self means understanding the emptiness of self without notions of self and other means understanding the emptiness of no of the notion of self and other living without attachment means living with the understanding of emptiness and cultivating without attainment means cultivating with the understanding of the emptiness of attainment in the next video we're going to go straight into the sutra itself see you there